when Logan uploaded the first video, which I did see, I, um, I went to it, I clicked it, I was first warned by a banner that said, hey, this is a bad video. After that, I clicked OK, I went on into the video, I saw Logan's message saying what that had happened and what the video was about, and I continued to watch the video. So let me first say that everybody that's about Logan's video had the choice to turn the video away. stuff out of the picture. Recorded a lot of stuff yesterday and uh, when I got, it was about the situation with Logan and, and what that I felt about that situation because it was blowing up all over YouTube. I got home, I saw his video, he was saying, you know, for his fans not to defend him and da 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 da. So, I, I was like, I'm just gonna scratch it, I'm not even gonna release it. So I wake up this morning and I'm seeing a lot of complaining about YouTube. And they're complaining that YouTube is like glorifying what that Logan did and that, you know, it's because he's one of the top stars and YouTube just doesn't give a damn. It's not like that at all. If you're a, you, if you're a viewer on YouTube and you're just coming here every day and viewing, you probably don't know the backside of YouTube and how everything actually works. Like everything else with Google, it works on algorithms. And so basically, when Logan uploaded the first video, which I did see, I, um, I went to it, I clicked it, I was first warned by a banner that said, hey, this is a bad video. After that, I clicked OK, I went on into the video, I saw Logan's message saying what that had happened and what the video was about, and I continued to watch the video. So let me first say that everybody that's about Logan's video had the choice to turn the video away. Like, you were warned twice. Once by YouTube, because he put a setting in there to warn you, and then once by him. So, I'm, I mean, he already told you what it was about. In the end, it all works on algorithms. So even though he, he put the warning in there for the video to be 18+, plus, uh, even though he did not monetize the video, so he didn't make a penny off of his video at all, other than the fact that everybody flipped out about it and everybody went and watched his other videos now. So even though he didn't make a dime off of this video by everyone freaking out over it, they caused him to make more money off of the other video. So how the algorithm works though is basically because his videos are popular, even though he didn't monetize it and he had the warning on there, it was still getting a ton of likes because there's so many of his fans that just click his video and click the like button as soon as they get on it and then they sit there for 15 minutes and watch it. So Due to it getting all the likes and it got so many views so fast, it went to the trending page on YouTube. That is all algorithm. It was not somebody at YouTube going, oh, Logan uploaded a new video, let's throw that up to number one. That's not how it, excuse me, that's not how it works at all. You have to get likes, you have to get views, then you get on the trending page. So since he's, since he's already, since he's already the most popular YouTuber, one of the most popular YouTubers, his video got a lot of likes, it got the views, and it went to the trending page. This morning, some people have like re-uploaded it, who I guess had downloaded it and whatnot, and that is also on the trending page. But again, it is not YouTube. YouTube cannot tell like what the video is until somebody from the community reports it. Once it's reported, then, then you're able to, then YouTube is able to actually do something. That's kind of, I don't know, I'm not gonna get into what I felt about what Logan did. I personally, I'm still a fan. It didn't change my opinion of him at all. I, uh, you had a warning from YouTube because of the setting he put in, and you had a warning from him, from the message that he put, clearly telling you what the video was about before you ever clicked on it. So everyone out there complaining about what that they saw and blah, 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 it's like, dude, you clicked through his warnings. So why are you gonna complain about what he did when you click through the warnings? And then also, why are you gonna complain at YouTube when again, you click through the warnings? I just, I don't understand it. It's like, it would be like, like going to like one of those adult theaters where they play like the adult porn and getting in the theater, walking up to it, seeing giant triple X signs, seeing, you know, whatever they have playing and then walking in there and walking back out 15 minutes later complaining because of what you saw. I mean, that's how I take it, it just doesn't make sense. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and give you all a little update. I'm very sorry I have not uploaded. 
for the past about two weeks, I two weeks, I have been just ridiculously busy. Um, basically, me and Kaylee went to the Georgia Dome implosion for the wall, and after that, uh, it was like just Christmas for like three days. I had to get you know gifts together and, and this and that. A lot of traveling involved, going to family and whatnot, and I just was spending quality time with Kaylee, uh, also doing cleaning when I wasn't doing that, trying to get my house in order. So for me, I've had just a really busy end of the year. Also at work, I don't know if I've said before, I work as a server administrator. A lot of y'all probably know I work in IT, but I work as a server administrator. And at the end of the year, there is so much stuff to do. Passwords have to be changed. Certain things have to be updated. Things There's just things that have to be done before the end of the year to make the beginning of the year work definitely with medical customers like we work with a lot. So I've really just had a super busy two weeks. I mean, really like yesterday, honestly, when I went and got this haircut, flashback to that. I'm over here at a hair salon. I'm about to get my haircut to bring in the new year and, and try to do some little quick update vlog for you guys. So I will see you after my haircut. Long time since I vlogged like this, but my hair got done. I love it. Thank you so much. I think it looks magnificent and it's like it's like super super bouncy now. I probably I don't know what whatever was put in it, but I love it. Thank you very much. And thank you, by the way. It's still I mean I, I couldn't style it as nice as she did in, in the video you just saw, but you know I just slicked it back like I always do. She said she's gonna show me how to style it. So yesterday was really the first day that I feel like I had some real free time. I'm glad I'm hopefully gonna be back. Uh, this is going to be a full year for me. That's my goal. So I'm going to really try, since Monday was the first, and today's Wednesday, I'm just going to start today and just do an every other day schedule and try to do as many vlogs as I can. I have all kinds of stuff that I'm looking to do, um, places that I want to go, places that I found that I definitely want to record at, and uh, I think that it'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys will join us. And check it out with us, check it out with me, anyone who's there. That's going to be it for this video, a little update and a little what that I felt about everyone complaining about Logan. I want to tell everyone to try your best to stay positive, keep a smile on your face every day because there is people out there who love you and uh, if you feel lonely or sad or just woke up with your girlfriend or boyfriend, know that there is someone else out there that you can find. So just always keep a positive mind, always keep smiling and try to just keep whatever the issue is for that day. Do that and keep a smile on your face we will make it a much better time. At least that's from my experience. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys and gals have a good day and I will see you all tomorrow or the next day. Have a good one. Deuces. How is there already graffiti on a bridge that, that's not even done yet? They're still working on this thing. Can't they let them finish first?